Hey guys, here Mark the Geek. In this video, I have a benchmark comparison between the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 versus the LG G3. Both devices are from T-Mobile. This one, of course, has the branding of T-Mobile, and the uh, Galaxy Note 4 that I have has no branding whatsoever, but it's from T-Mobile as well. Um, this one just came out very, very recently. I would say like October 17, something like that. And of course, the LG G3 has been out for a couple months already, but spec wise they're almost the same they both have a true hd screen which is 2560 by 1440 uh, this one of course has the ips lcd screen at 4.5 inch screen uh, this one of course has the super amoled 5.7 inch screen but they're both pushing 2560 by 1440 uh, now when it comes to spec wise inside the internals what makes these two phone um, function or work or bring you the horsepower that you need um, the Galaxy Note 4 has the latest Snapdragon 805 uh, clocked at 2.7 gigahertz and this one the LG G3 has the Snapdragon 801 clocked at 2.5 gigahertz very very good as well very good uh, cpu um when it comes to gpu the graphic uh, processor unit um the lg g3 has the the uh, adreno 330 and the galaxy note 4 has the latest adreno 420 now that right there when it comes to graphic power I, I, the galaxy note 4 should be better uh, they both have three gigabytes of ram internal and basically that's it other than that i think it's pretty fair to compare these two devices so of course i'm gonna be comparing these two devices so let's go ahead first let's go unlock both devices uh, so like you see here both devices are basically in the same state power saving mode is off on both of them uh, this one i have the auto brightness off because the l the, the galaxy note 4 like you see on the video it's way 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 more brighter than the lg g3 like you see here this they are both right now using the the auto auto brightness mode um here i got bluetooth off and all that but over here in the background there's nothing running on both devices and ram is cleared on both devices so let's go ahead start with the first test uh let's go ahead with the geek bench over here let's go with the geek bench right there i'm gonna have to lower down the the i'm gonna have to lower down the brightness here because it is just too bright compared to the uh, lg g3 and let's go ahead and run both Uh, keep in mind, I also, before starting this video, I also restarted both phones. And I'm going to do the same thing for the next test. I'm going to, once this um, benchmarks are done, I'm just going to clear everything or restart the phone completely on both devices. That way they could be fresh with nothing running in the background. And here, this one is about to be done over here. Do -do 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 -do. And there you have it, uh, the Galaxy Note 4 single core 1096 and multi-core 3112, not bad. And over here we got 937 single core and 2181 multi-core, now that's the big difference right there, multi-core, look at that. Um, also, single core, uh, I would say a huge, a big difference too, over 100, not bad. But now let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead back. We saw that already. Let's go ahead back again and do another test. This time I'm going to fast forward everything. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, 11.15, a little bit more, a lot more than before. And 33.05, 3,305. That's a big difference right there. Second time around. Over here we got 9.76. A little bit better and 2367 multi core. So, like you see there, uh, if we keep on doing it, the results are always going to be the same. So, now let's go ahead to the next test. Okay, so let's go ahead and start again. They both have been restarted. Let's see over here, nothing running there, nothing running there. Not bad. And let's go back over here. Now, let's go ahead and do the N22 benchmark. Let's go 
go ahead and do the N22 benchmark. Uh, right here, you're going to be able to see the prior benchmarks that I did on both devices. Uh, that way you can see over here, the Galaxy Note 4 scored me 44,398. That is super impressive, uh, considered amazing. Uh, over here, like you see, this is, was the latest one, 38,692, considered great. So let's go ahead now. Like I said, there's nothing running in the background. I was over here, going to test, test, and that's it. Let's go ahead and wait for this to finish. Okay, so over here we're done. We got the my device like you see over here 25 275 and it stands among Everybody else like you see here the ACC one M8 Xiaomi Galaxy S5 all the other devices as well. Let's go ahead and show details over here Let's go back over here. Let's go back and there you have it amazing 45 275 Five, a little bit more than what we I showed you before. So now let's go ahead and wait for this one to finish. <clears throat> and there you have it, the LG G3 finish. And like you see over here, contrary to this one, it finished over here in the bottom, um, below the Xiaomi M3, the Z2, uh, the Galaxy Note 3, the Galaxy S5, and so on, so on. Let's go ahead and back over here. And there you have it. This one is considered great. 35,559 versus, wow, almost 10,000 more. Look at this. 45,275. That's crazy let's go ahead and catch i was going to share that that's amazing that's amazing the big big difference that you get here from this device so now let's go ahead to the next benchmark and of course like i said again i'm going to restart both phones okay so the last test that we're going to do is the 3d mark test on both devices here uh keep in mind again i already restarted both phones so both phones are should be power fresh there's nothing running in the background let's go ahead and see there nothing running in the background besides t these two apps that are active right here um let's go ahead and show you guys some tests that i did before which uh this one over here actually scored very very impressive score right here like you see here the last score that i did was 16 1287 that's impressive and the one that was done before was 12,062 um, over here like you see the last score that was done here was 13,548 and look, over here you can see the other scores before this one 10,000 a little bit over 13 a little bit over 10,000 so like you see there the pattern tells you that this one is getting better scores i don't know why but hey that's the case but here let's go ahead and go ahead and start both tests right here on both devices uh, and for this video i'm just going to go ahead and record both devices at the same time usually i do one and then i do the other but honestly that's when i want to um, compare the sound both devices they sound basically the same um, they both have a little speaker here in the back and honestly if you if you think that the lg g3 sounds crappy well guess what the Galaxy Note 3 sounds crappy as well, but there's no big difference. So all we want to see is how it looks on the screen and how they compare um, in the screen and the final score. So let's go ahead and get started. Try to press these two at the same time there. That way the sound and video can be a little bit more synced. And let's go ahead and watch this.
Okay, so there we have it. This one is done over here. Like you see there, very, very impressive. 19,610. And let's wait for this one to finish. Now, that's kind of weird. Like you saw there, the other test that I did before, they were around 10,000, 10,000, 13,000. And this one, which would be like the fourth test that I do, does an impressive 19. That's very, very impressive. And over here, this one is done 13,278. There you have it. There you have it, and that's it, guys. So, like you see there, um, honestly, I gotta say the LG G3 st still stands very, very strong here when it comes to, um, compared to the Galaxy Note 4. Uh, look at the prior test over here, and look at the prior test over here. Of course, this one on video, the Galaxy Note 4 actually came up very, 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 very impressively over 19,000. Uh, this one came out uh, over. 13,000 but the one before it was over 16,000 so that's not bad there of course like I said before this is running the Adreno 420 and this is running the Adreno 330 which is still impressive like you saw there with the prior scores but that's it guys uh, this is all I wanted to show you guys a little benchmark here between both devices these are two great phones um, and two great powerful devices as well um, doesn't matter which one you have I think you're not gonna have any problem whatsoever um, this one of course 5.7 inch screen 5.5 inch screen for me this one is a lot more easier to handle and it feels a lot more better in your hand and a lot more better in your pocket and um, I don't know it feels a lot better when you have it in the hand this one feels a lot lot better and the design wise honestly I like the design wise of the LG G3 even though it has the buttons in the back i do like the design it looks a lot more cleaner of course the note 3 looks the note 4 looks a lot like the note 3 but when you grab it in your hand that's when you're gonna feel the big big difference because of course this time around you have metal all around the device which is makes the phone feel a lot more premium and a little bit more hefty as well this one feels almost twice as heavy as the lg g3 but other than that these are two great devices uh let me know what you guys think in the comment and i hope you guys like the video till next time guys